You wanted to speak to me? The name's Zalka. Have you heard from up north? From Bleeding Mark? I'm guessing that's a place. One of the desert's villages. They send their yield of ash blood so the Bereka over there can mark the skin of our soldiers. But it's been a long time since the last supply run. Too long. If you think something happened to them, can't you send someone to go check? Were it up to me. But Commander Yara is too busy securing her hold over the capital to spare any soldiers. You mentioned the village up north sends some supplies to the capital. Ash blood? It's a crimson stone that we grind into powder for our ink. Bleeding Mark has the largest supply. Our soldiers there gather and deliver it to us, in exchange for their water rations. Die for water. Everyone in the clan depends on the wound in the sand for their water. Capital and outlying village alike. But the last delivery of ash blood was weeks ago. Our supply is running low. So must be their water. If I'm out that way, I can look in on the village. Find out what's the delay. You have my thanks. Head north to a ruin where the desert meets the mountains. That's Bleeding Mark. Ask for Kentok or Natika there. They'll know what's going on. This must be the village Zoka was talking about. It looks like the whole place flooded. Maybe from a recent storm. I wonder if anyone made it out. Best check around the shore. There are a few survivors on that overlook. I should see if they're okay. Is he all right? Uh, he will be. Uh, there. But what about the others? Let me worry about that. Rest now. I'm Natika. You're a long way from the east, Outlander. You're Natika. So this must be Bleeding Mark. What's left of it? How do you know this place? The Inker's apprentice and Scalding Spear told me to find you. He was worried something happened to your supply caravan. Well, as you can see, we have more important problems than delivering ash blood. What happened here? The last storm caused a deluge that brought down half of the mountain. The mudslide barreled right through the village. As you heard, we have many missing. But I need to keep watch on these two. I can take a look around. If I find anyone, I'll send them your way. Much appreciated. And if you see an older soldier, grim-faced, goes by Kentok, Tell him... Tell him I'm here.
Might be able to use my focus to find any survivors. There. People in that tower. The water feels thick. Polluted. Guess this won't help the water shortage in Skelton Spear. Can anyone hear us? Where are you? We're trapped in this tower. Flood blocked the way we came in. There's a ladder at the top, but we can't reach it. Okay, I'll find a way to get to you. I need to get to the ladder at the top of the building. Maybe there's a way to cross over from the broken room next to it. That works. Now I just need to climb inside to get to the top. I should be able to cross over to the survivors from there.
There's the ladder on the other building. I can make that jump. Looks like it's stuck. Maybe I can use my weight to make it drop. No! That was our only way out! I'd better check on the survivors first. Ugh. Water in my boots. Who are you, anyway? Everyone okay? You're not one of us. Sorry. Yes. We took shelter in here when a mudslide swept through the village, but debris blocked the passage we came in through. That ladder was our only way out, but we couldn't reach it from here. Don't worry. I'll find us another way out of here. Do you know what happened to the others? Before we ran in here, I thought I saw a few of our comrades climbing up a watchtower on the north side, near the grotto. I'll look into it. As soon as you're out, head for the shore. Natika's waiting on an overlook there. So she survived. Good. We'll join her as soon as we have a way out. Okay. Sit tight, for now. You do it? Okay. You should have a way out. Thanks. We'll head to the shore in a moment. It didn't look like Kentok was with this group. Okay. Better find this watchtower on the north end. Good use of this. <sighs> Machines must have moved in after the flood. now. Hey, Homelander! These machines got us trapped up here. We lost our weapons in the mudslide. Sit tight. I'll take care of them. Those boulders. Break the support beam, crush the machines.
Crush him with the boulders. Shoot the support beam. Should be safe for this mouth now. We're coming down. Is everyone okay? Better now, without Snap Maws prowling around. You sure know how to fight. We saw some of our comrades stuck on the Eastern Cliffs. They could use a hand too, if you're willing. Okay, I'll check it out. Have you seen Kentok? Natika asked me to keep an eye out for him. Last I saw him was before the mudslide hit. Okay. Head for the shore, on the other side of the village. Natika's there with the other survivors. Will do. Thanks again.
We've got wounded up here. Need an easy way down. And fast. Uh, hold on. I'll figure something out. I need to find a way for the Tanakhs to get down from the cliff. That big crane could help. If I can get it into the right position, I could make a bridge for them. That rubble's blocking the base of the crane. Maybe I can clear it if I pull that beam out. I must be stuck on something else. Underwater, maybe. My focus can help me search. There's fire gleam on those rocks. in place. Now, how to lower it to reach the cliff. I should take a look at the bottom of the crane's arm. See if there's a way to move it. Looks like there's something weighing the arm down. There. If I pull out that beam, it should remove the counterweight and lower the arm. There we go. Oh, damn it. Arm stuck on something. I better climb up and take a look. If I detach those cables. The arm should drop the rest of the way. This thing's about to drop! Watch out! We're clear! Blood of the Ten! How'd you manage to do that? I don't know how you did it, but thanks for the rescue. Is everyone okay? His legs snapped against some debris as we were making a run for it, but he'll live. How'd you get stuck up here? A mudslab tore through the village in the last storm. This ledge was just above the flood when we got to it. And by the time everything calmed down, the water had receded, leaving us stranded. And we couldn't leave a fellow soldier behind. Can you make it to the shore from here? Natika's there, tending to the wounded. Natika. Thank the ten. We'll head for her location. She'll know what we should do next. Thanks again, Outlander. Okay. I think that's it for survivors. But I didn't see Kento among them. I should head back to Natika. Better not. Rest now. Aloy, thanks to you, these soldiers are safe. But where's Kentok? 
I didn't see anyone who matched his description. Do you know where he was when the storm hit? I was the last one to see him, just before. I told him I wanted to leave this place to pledge my blade to the Chief's guard, but he refused to discharge me from the squad. All Tanabt are stubborn fighters, but Kentok is more so than most. So I walked out. I was coming back from the opposite ridge when I saw the mudslide. You were coming back to make amends. I must find him. If anyone can survive such a storm, it's him. You said Kentok is your squad leader? I've trained under him ever since I was assigned to his squad. He's tough as a shell snapper. Unforgiving as the desert. But my blade is quicker, deadlier because of him. And he taught me to fight for duty, not just glory. To serve something greater than yourself. Yes. And yet he wants me to be tethered to this place. Rather than fulfilling a greater purpose with a chief's guard. You said you wanted to pledge your blade to the chief's guard. Is that what the marshals are? No. The marshals travel the breadth of the clan lands, enacting Chief Hikaru's will. The guard remains at the grove to defend it and the chief. What's the grove? It's an ancient ruin dedicated to the Ten, the bravest of soldiers from the old world. Chief Hikaru rules from his throne there. Only a handful of soldiers are chosen for the honor of serving in the chief's guard. So why did Kentok not want you to go? He claimed that the greater honor was to serve my squad and clan. But all we do here is gather supplies for ink. How can that compare to guarding the grove? The chief himself. So a mudslide did all this? Must have been quite a storm. We've had more and more of them over the last few years. Torrential rain, lightning strikes, winds that rattle the metal towers. But this last one was the worst yet. This area used to be as arid as the rest of the desert. The storms have changed all that. There's a water shortage in the capital. Could this help? The wound in the sand is low? I guess we're not the only ones dealing with problems. But unfortunately, no. This water is poisoned by ash blood, undrinkable as machine oil. The Inker's apprentice in Scalding Spear mentioned you exchange ash blood for water. It's the way of the desert. Where other villages hunt for food or machine parts to trade with the capital, we collect rocks. Important rocks. The clan relies on ash blood to mark their skin. How can they record their glories without our supply? I can take another look around the village. Where did you last see? Natika. I'm here. Where's Kentok? Did he make it? We're going to find him. He saved me. Pushed me out of the way as everything collapsed. But then the flood took him. Towards the gouge. The gouge? It's an ancient passage that leads deep underground. Come. I'll show you. Natika. We need orders. We're exposed out here. Only half of us can hold a blade if machines come. What do you want us to do? Go. The gouge is in the hillside, northwest of here. I'll catch up when I can. What are we going to do now? Let's get a couple soldiers posted as lookouts. Let's go. Must be the gouge. Looks like an old mine. There's a lot of debris blocking the entrance. Maybe Kentuck got lost in there during the flood. I'm gonna declare Okay, let's see where 
Take it easy. You must be Kentok. Oh. I was an outlander, not my name. Atika sent me to find you. The soldier you saved told us you were swept away by the mudslide. And so he made it. Good. And Natika. She came back? Yeah. She was on her way back to talk to you when the mudslide happened. She's looking after the survivors now. <sighs> it was my mistake to deny her discharge. A soldier is supposed to sacrifice for the good of the tribe. Looking back now, she was right. I didn't want to let her go. The chief's guard will gain an invaluable soldier. At least after all this, I won't be in the way anymore. I can tell you know a fatal wound when you see one. My service to my clan is done. So... Leave me. No. You're not going to die down here. There has to be a way to get you out. There isn't. I tried to climb out. It's no use. The walls are too slick. Water's coming in. From the surface? And not from where I came in. There must be another source. And if I find it, and open it up... You might not be able to move, Kentok, but I think there might be a way to move you. Hey. Hey! I need you to stay awake. I'm gonna take a look around. <laughs> You're just like Natika. Relentless as a fire claw. And you should be used to it. Just sit tight. I'm going to get you out of here. That waterfall must be coming from somewhere. I need to get higher up to figure out where it's coming from. Must be another source.
There's some metal in that wall across the way. Might be able to pull some of it out. Okay, the waterfall I saw down below should be coming in from somewhere else. Gotta find its source. as clean as I'm gonna get out of here. Water's coming in from there. I can use the fire flame to break open that wall. And this whole place should flood. The raft can talk on should float right up to the top. said you're a stubborn fighter, so keep fighting. only to the hand that commands it. He would say that every time we sparred. Sometimes as an insult. <laughs> Other times as a compliment. But I guess he was right. It was always my choice to stay or go. I'm sorry you didn't get to make amends. So am I. What will you do now? I'm not sure. Bleeding Mark has a chance to recover. And once that's done... I could join the Chief's Guard, but I have to lay him to rest first. With full soldier's honors. Aloy, wait. 
You saved my comrades, somehow drained the entire village. I want you to have this. Thanks. And good luck. Whatever you decide. He used to wake us all up before dawn to train. <laughs> Nothing like a practice blow to the ribs to shake off sleep. I still remember our first battle. I was fresh to the squad. We took down a Ravager in the nearby hills. That was a good fight. He and I fought a lot too. I can't even remember what some of it was about. He was a good soldier. Thank you for listening, Aloy. Aloy! It's been a while since Bleeding Mark. Well met, Aloy. I was hoping we'd run into each other again after the flood and Bleeding Mark. The Tika. So you did it. You're part of the Chief's Guard now. It wasn't an easy choice, but yes. After you left, we laid Kentok to rest and I thought about what he said. He served his clan, his tribe, as best as he could. I have to do the same. I'm sure he'd be proud. And he'd reprimand me for allowing myself to be distracted. <laughs> Can't have that. Thank you again, Aloy. Strike true as the ten. <laughs>